In this introductory design video, we're going to talk about bearing pressures and piles and group punching shear values that are checked in Visual Foundation. In the model view, as we're showing here, we have a square foundation with four closely spaced piles. As you draw piles, you will see a green yellow boundary drawn around each pile and that indicates the punching boundaries. You can turn off and on the punching boundaries by going over to the filter and look at the show or hide shear zones option. So that's how those are shown. In addition to the green boundaries, you see a golden colored boundary around the outside of them all. And this represents a group punching shear boundary. So Visual Foundation is also checking group punching shear. In the Modify tab under the Model View, we have an entry for bearing pressure checks and the bearing pressure values. We're going to check our bearing values at service level loads and we're going to use a design bearing pressure, allowable bearing pressure of 1 KSF. You can also switch that to do a strength level check of bearing pressures as well. Let's now switch to found the Foundation Design tab. We look at what we're showing and if we go to the design filter we see under design information we're showing the bearing unity value. We see bearing unity values in the contour legend down below and they range anywhere from blue to green in color going from 0 to 1. We, hope we have our flyby information currently turned on in the windows option and as I hover my mouse around I'm seeing unity values from about 0.68 to essentially zero where the piles are at. The 0.68 represents the bearing pressure divided by that allowable value of 1 KSF we saw earlier. If we drag the slider ranges here we can see we can shut out certain parts of unity values to be shown and they'll turn gray. So this is a way if you'd like to zoom in on certain unity values you can drag these slider legends. You can also set the slider legend values directly by clicking on the menu button here above the slider bar. If we look at the design filter we also have the punching shear boundaries turned on and that is shown in the view and I'm going to turn off the plates to make it a little more apparent. Now we see we have a red outline the flyby information we're seeing that as a unity value of 1.07 which, which is a fail state and that's why it's drawn as red. The interior punching boundaries are less than 1, about 0.5 and therefore they are an acceptable value. We're also seeing that punching shear failure over here in the stability checks so we can show punching shear unity check values in the foundation design.